Usually people would talk about him as a situational support. But right now, with I think with the current meta, he's pretty good at uh, the, the five grill. He provides a lot for your team. Instant disable. And also because of the carries that you're picking, you're picking more reserve time. Uh, more lane dominant carries. Back then Rubik had a lot of problems because you were picking like more thing anti mage. So the lane wasn't that strong. Right now you're picking Luna, Ursa, Lifesteal. The carries don't really need too much from the supports. One lift and you can kill. So Rubik has been getting a lot of love because of the meta shifts and I see not... Rubik also getting a lot of love when he's combined it with a lifestealer. Because yeah. lifestealer just like lane like, like just pisses off into the jungle and then Rubik takes all the levels. Yeah, so he that's level true. six comes Same same goes for like Ursa. All those heroes are yeah, you know very active in the early game. And Rubik, you need some sort of, you know, farm to function well. I don't see Luna being the same kind of thing that, like, Luna's more uh, depends how you build. for sure. It depends how you build Luna. If you go for the early home, you can jungle and you want to stack Ancients, you can leave the lane to the supports. It's always open. Uh, I think, uh, generally, you want to, you know, like you said, push and get the tower as Luna. I think overall, it's a very solid pick right now. And for OG, do they get the uh, okay? They get the upgrade now. Yes. Okay. They yes, get the, they do. because Adpinum have has chosen. I was kind of surprised that they didn't chose to ban a block or pick it themselves. So yeah. Maybe, like, like why ban the punch when like potentially she block? Maybe it's because I mean, of the combination you talked about in the last game, the punch and the bat ride. Yeah, but use. punch doesn't work with SD. Right? Like you, you can't disrupt and set up a hook. That's yeah. Like my main concern when I pick punch, I want to have a setup Five for the hook. I don't just pick the hero because I want to pick the hero. I want to set up so I can land easy hooks. You know. <laughs> Because that's uh, what the hero function, how the hero function in the early game. You land hooks, you get kills, but in the mid to late game, the hooks are more like saving your carry. I, I, I'm not sure if you actually read the guide, the punch player, that's what he said as well in the guide. Q, 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 P, his name, is a, you, you, he's like a high level NMR player for Europe, Europe region. He plays a lot of punch, and in his guide he explained that people, a lot of people misunderstood punch in the mid to late game when you always try to hope to start a fight. Whereas he always feels like after the early stage of the game, the hooks are more valuable in saving the carry. It's easier to turn the fight around when you hook the, the carry out of, let's say, a chronosphere. Instead of starting a fight and then the void just gets a free setup. Yeah, right. so that's basically what he said. And right now, Adpinan goes for... Uh, this is one of their one of their favorite heroes as well, uh, for Spartan on the support, Five the roaming support. You get, a, you get Earthshaker. And one thing he provides that no other... I, I don't think any other 4 provides is the Fissure Block in the early game, which allows your offlane to get level 2. So that's uh, something that's actually unique on this pick as a 4 row. The only downside I would feel about that is, like, even if you do hold the lane back, when Earth Spirit sorry to rotate over, I mean, uh, he's not going to care about that, neither is the Bat Rider, but it's, it's the attack under the T1 tower, which Jirax is kind of known for. I mean, it's also because of the combo you have with Darkseid. I mean, we've seen a lot of, uh, it, was, it was NP uh, yesterday, where we saw Darkseid versus Lada, vacuum into the crush. Mm -hmm. With Fissure, it's basically the same thing. But one of the downsides of Earthshaker is he... I mean, he usually struggles to to get farm and to get stuff done early. It's very defensive. Like a Slada, on the other hand, has a 4 row. Even pre-blink, you have a sprint, so you can run into position to get a stun up. Whereas for Earthshaker, it's much more reliant on... You You don't really want to use Fissure to start in a lot of cases. You want to wait and then Fissure. You know, get a block off, save a teammate, or block off the fight. So mm -hmm. he's not as great as Slada in an aggressive manner, but he's great in defensive manner. So right now, they've they been on the DP, which is uh, one of the heroes that No-Tail loves to play. Like, no one else plays Five the hero, because everyone thinks the hero is yeah, ass. weak, is ass. <laughs> Just like NP, everyone thinks Queen of Pain is ass, but they pick the hero, Reserve but they lose. Okay. And, and even in the interview yesterday, I'm Flex us MSS. Why do you guys pick Queen of Pain? <laughs> well, okay, 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 no, okay, no, no, the Queen of Pain is moronic. <laughs> if, if we're going to be really kind about yeah. that. Okay. Oh, Should they ban the Invoker? I was, I was sitting here thinking, like, no, nah, this is actually going to be an Adam Invoker because they just focus more on the. They need a space. So they the need, game. like, space makers right now because they have AM. AM generally takes up. Even though I was telling you that how the meta. Oh, they need work. more damage. You need something like Templar Assassin to come out. Yeah, but still, Ten AM is going to take a lot of space. So generally, you want someone that can. I mean, TA with a good start can create pressure. But. Uh, they're going to go for the DK instead. DK is like. Yeah. You, you want to play around with the other. The other four heroes, the SD, the Bat Rider, the Earth Spirit, the DK. So basically, the four heroes will be the game plan will be the four heroes running around, push, LD, and the Bat Lasso, and the AM will be just you know Guys, doing th it. Thanks for the time you, you you created for me the farm. That's basically what I want to have. It's gonna commit mass murder. Ooh, mid timber against DK. This is a great matchup for Tug.
very favorable matchup for the Timbersaw and. Does it get dangerous in there? Like when Anna gets higher up in levels with Brave Fire, that's like that nice magical damage you won't care about reactive armor, and then Earth Spirit comes in too. Yeah, but still Timber with, uh, if you start with the Poor Man Shield, and at least I think most of the players are getting three points in the reactive armor, it's going to be very difficult. And don't forget an early raindrop. So uh, true. Gonna save your day. <laughs> Timber is basically not only good against the DK, but also extremely good against uh, the AM because you're all pure damage. So your spell shield doesn't really bloody raindrops doesn't really help you, and it's also great against the Shadow Demon illusions. Like when you're up against Shadow Demon, you want a hero that can destroy and remove Ten the illusions remaining. quickly. So I think it's a very very good last pick here for Athena. Should really start counting. Down the days to the patch when raindrops get nerfed. Uh, do I just want to help people with uh, predictions you, you, this time you, around? You don't sound like you hate. Uh, you don't sound like you love the items. I, I hate it because I love playing mid all the time. Uh, <laughs> with all um, All right. Do we want to do predictions for people? Up to you. We haven't done. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Total number played us by ten minutes. Very very passive. So I'm gonna actually say like uh, zero to yeah, five. Yeah, this is actually a passive buddy. Yeah. So zero to five by ten minutes. Total number of Roshan kills. Uh. In total with this lineup, I don't think much of us. I'm gonna say it's I think a 30 minutes game though. <laughs> so probably two. <laughs> yeah, zero, zero to two seems right. The number of ancient ca a creep stacks. Ah, uh, this is your low six to ten. <laughs> Just six to ten, but that's my 30 minutes. Players, well, screw that. players that's with a, the that's, least that's that. that. Players with the least that. Anti mage, I trust you. Anti mage? Oh, um. Dude, have you seen burning and black play yeah. anti mage? They have zero zero zero. <laughs> Fine. No tell I shall trust, but I, I'm gonna go against you on the ancient creep stack by 30 minutes. Actually, no, because the counter breaks all the time. The counter actually breaks, so yeah, 6 to 10 is actually gonna be better. Oh, top lane, they're forcing No tail to get his blink. <laughs> Fisher blocked him and chooses to take his blink. So AF are trying to run an aggressive lane with the Luna, it seems to pressure the AM, and immediately No tail TPs himself. Away from that lane, you yeah, want. Yeah, that's already up on the top. This is a good movement, good rotation from OG. You do not want AM in that lane against the Luna. But the Luna is actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, we have we, uh, we have Skylock up on top. Madara is already moving down to the bottom lane. Mind games, that AM was like, what? Why and is then, Luna down here? And then blocked in the mid. Wait, hang on. Isn't that meant to hold him? Uh, I actually did not see what happened. He uh, he fissure blocked, but the creeps moved in through that little like those little corners. So the fissure block was there, and, and he moved in through the corner. Uh, I think that's because of the uh, the latest change to fissure, where sometimes the creeps would try to move forward if you don't fully block block the ramp off. So okay. that's probably what happened. It's gonna be a little bit more solid. Uh, All right, now they're gonna DK. realize maybe next time it comes in. That's a good fissure block over on fly Spartans here too. No tell. Says hello, and he's almost trying to act as bait. Well, he accepts the fact the fly is dead. Rip. Runs into the tree lines, disruptions out. They pick him up. This actually break a lot of the trees. So this is first one going the way of Ad Finum. And No Tail does what all good anti mages do. Lets their teammates die for the glory of one CS. TP top. Blue. Is he gonna do it? So they're gonna go for. They're gonna yep. go for kills. <laughs> like, yep. Double TPs are coming in. Girax is here, he's got rolling boulder available and the body blocking out Skylark! He couldn't get away oh, with a sticky napalm, it's difficult to play. actually walk around. And now with four sticky napalm stacks, the uh, head spawn needs one more here to go as confirm it with Girax rolling bouldering into the tier one tower. Now you know why. I said I'd rather him play me than of spirit. This guy. Holy shit, he's actually just so good at his at his role. So annoying and no tier. Having a very rough start on the AM, forced to burn two TP scrolls already. Oh, uh, looks like Batrider's not gonna have a great time either. They go from first the AM and now they move into the Batrider. Oh, uh, he doesn't have his Firefly, no. he's still level 1. He went for Sticky Napalm. Without the Sticky Napalm, they would never have got the kill on the Darkseer. But now Madara starts his TP. Oh, yeah. So right. the game of musical chairs begins, this where is... it stops only while well, the teams know. This is gonna favor AF because OG are the ones moving first, so you technically have to expand one more TP than the enemy, so you're taking a bad trip. Oh, then again, you get a rolling ball, you just lock in Madara if they can find that kill. With a kick being there, Jirik can't get back in front of him however and Spartan oh, moves over by is in the neighborhood he'll take Spartan out of play with a disruption and catch up uh, oh, but the then block. again fly oh, the maybe block. next time rotates up perfectly gets the vision block fly knew oh, was coming shit. thanks to the observe ward to his right it is Rubik <laughs> who is the man that finds the kill and uh well so much for the passive early game winter 
Uh, did we put like what was it? Zero we to had five? zero to six, I think it was. Zero to five. Zero oh, to five. No. Yeah, we 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 done we done fucked up. <laughs> TP's are coming again. So flies back up the top lane. Looks like uh, now it was OG are going to accept to it. be a passive early game. It was supposed to be, but AF says no. Mid lane is kind of like being the only standard. I mean, this is this this lane is just bad for DK. <laughs> He's, he's, he's doing a good job. Yeah, like, he's with, doing a good job. With bottle and like like a two zero two, Anna's fine. He'll find his farm. Just even trade fly starts with disruption. Catcher as well. They get the Rubik pick up. So Jerry's can initiate straight away into the tree line. They just want to kill off Spartan. The holding boulder will miss, but the kick will not. Radiance bottom tower. So the Rubik will die again, and Madara doesn't find himself alone. You've still got the Earth the Earth Shaker up here, but we're going to El Clasico kind of style. Where Earthshaker is kind of oh, like the vicious save. Oh, bot is going for the solo kill on Skylark. He's under the tower though, with the back, the damage may be enough. Skylark burning, one more attack, oh, and four! Oh, you tower. can see him! Oh, he's trying to pop oh, the attack! The salt just gave him just enough points to survive. One more right click from the tower. That was... You can see the fist moving from the darks here too. That attack animation on darks hey, takes so long. The karate the chop. Is just, yeah. <laughs> But still, Bruce Lee on his ass, <laughs> fly, <laughs> disruption, nah, no tails jumping over, they oh, might have been hoping they could block, yeah. maybe next time into the trees, but now it's Bart trying to turn around the kick, well off target from Jirax, and no tails hoping for maybe next time, Jirax has rolling boulder, so down he comes, looking Oop. to block out Madara, no tail maybe next time, going towards the golems, denies himself up, and now Jirax is in a bit of a world of hurt, no tail can't help him, with a loser beam, very much we can uh, actually spend it. He uh, can't get his rolling boulder up in time, so they get yeah, a double is, kill to this Rubik. AM. It is AM. is having a very, very nightmare stuff. <laughs> this is what you don't want to have when you pick AM. You want AM to be happily farming away. This is real bad for No-Tail. Didn't this happen to OG when they played up against IGV earlier? Like, that first game, it completely one-sided stomp. For the second game, it looked good, but then they just lost all momentum around the 10-minute mark. That's just the reason why you see AM picks being really scarce nowadays, because teams can be really good at, you know, applying pressure. It's very difficult to play greedy. If you pick a weak lane, your opponents will take advantage of that. And right now we see that uh, AF are just basically doing that, they're pressuring the AM and bottom lane. They're coming again, they're looking for the kill on Fly. The fish will fly out, and uh, well, with the Lucent being stunned, the Lucent work, Fly being picked up, but Dang, in comes Jirax. The kick is good, but Fly, he gets hit by the heavy damage of maybe next time, but it's not enough to kill him. They're coming into the T1 tower, and well, Fly will drop, but it's at a cost. In fact, on two lanes, the Batrun is dying as well. The Jirax, they want to pick off maybe next time. If they can kill this entire aggro tri lane, maybe it makes the sacrifice of their off lane worth oh, it. This is definitely not a good trade for AF. This is really, really bad. They lost three heroes. They're they, getting no to the last hit too. The only guy that they killed was Fly earlier, and he actually also used a, a very good style to force uh, Spartan on the Rubik there to dive deeper for that one extra last right click which resulted in the Rubik dying as well. So all in all, super good trade for OG there. So while well, all that went off, like you still lost Bat Rider, so you gotta keep oh, that in mind. Darkseer committed his wall. That is that. very strange, yeah. Darkseer's solo killing that Bat Rider. But still, like one apiece, Bat Rider killed him one time and Darkseer killed him one time. So Darkseer got the better trade since you got the, the second kill, the one with more gold and experience. Mm -hmm. This mid lane too, like I was looking back at it like, and this, like maybe this, a minute this ago. Lane, this lane is really difficult for Tiger. Right. And, and, and it got whirling death, hit by a chakram for the shortest amount of time and he lost two thirds of his life. Look at that. <laughs> like this, like exactly what Ooh. I just described. Strength it hero. Again. Strength hero against the Jirax is in trouble. He, uh, he's bolted in, they're trying to block him with the Lunar Illusions. Now actually no tail jumping forward, triggering the sound before this. The stars the damage, no tail bit off so much more than he could chew. Gosh, this game is just so much happening. Oh, so much for a passive early game. So much happening in the the anti mid lane. Like AF is just so determined to make sure that AM doesn't get a good start. It's working wonderfully. This Timbersaur is going to shred oh, apart the end mage if you can keep up. As far as he's going for this, Wait, oh, he is. He's only got two sticky napalm stacks. Like, he wants to go for it. Uh, with the flame break, maybe the damage TP supports coming in this time is from TP. the Earthshaker. Is he going to TP? 
Uh, S4's kind of got him. Like, yeah. he doesn't have enough life to survive this and Tim Oh, oh lord. <laughs> okay, he just, uh, obliterated Anna. Yep, look at his skill build as well. This, this build, you generally don't see Tim Burst maxing the wall in death, but this build is just to make sure you get a solo kill and you dominate your lane. No tells on bottom lane. And top lane. Maybe next time he's waiting for it. As, uh, well, wait, wait, okay. Oh. He blinks away, but yep, back up to top lane where you're looking at, Jirax. Looks like he initiated over on Spartan. The same. Spartans have quite a lot, the loser beam does his work, and now Fly with a Kree Wave Warrior into the tower and an early earn to the damage will tick him out, all the Luna can just do it the old fashioned way, so Anna moves to the top lane with the Dragon Tower stun, he was the kill on the Rubik, oh it's over 450 gold for a kill on a Rubik 8 minutes in. Gosh. <laughs> He was 6'3", he's 6'3", 4 now. All right. He's been taking all the kills. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. This is the moment where... And the timber also gives the no, no uh, kills. Oh, oh, with a kickback, Jurax. Are they gonna go for Thug? The tower gets killed off, rolling Boulder forward. Thug, Jurax have to tank the whirling death. Fly moves over too. So disruption and cancer locked him in the tree line. Supports rotating in from no tail. Gotta be careful, that whirling death and shark room will destroy no tail and he knows it. He needs to get the right Radiant's time for the mana bones with the flame oh, break. No interruption, the vision from maybe next time. time. A perfect position blocks them all going. apart from S4, but S4 does not have the movement speed to keep up with this. Oh, this uh, this laning phase has been a disaster for OG. They lost mid lane, they lost their safe lane. Uh, S4 has pretty much also lost his lane against the Darkseer, since Darkseer has way more fun than the Batrider. I mean, this is not exactly entirely his fault because they were moving their lanes, they were forced to TP and rotate. Generally, when you do that too many times, it really affects your overall farm. So, I, get, I think AF are just extremely happy with their early game. I think they have done enough damage to the AM farm, especially. And they, at the same time, won the other two solo lanes as Dyer's well, so this is great for AF. Like their, their, their transition, like how is Batrider meant to catch up? Look at the wards that Spartan just planted down. Block all the he blocked all three, so one sentry ward for the mid camp and the two ops oh, for the others. Gosh. I don't know if he was even checking it because when Radiant he put that first observer ward down rip. near the tier 2 tower, you, uh, he actually was pulling the camp at the same time. Dude, you, you know people usually do this against Naga. Top tower I'm not seeing fun. someone do this against a Batrider, but it's, it's still gonna work. Well, they're making sure OG can never get to their, yeah. uh, their good play. initiation, right? Radiant's yeah, it's good play. Because you don't see it often. And yeah. there's no place for the animation farm. Oh, oh the back! Oh, Jirax! Can't catch a break, he's buying TP scroll, he's like, yeah, oh, this is it. Timber, this is, Timber casually walks over, thanks for the kill, guys, and no tail no, on the run. They look for Anna. Support is there from Fly, oh, no in case too, with the loose and beam to start with. Bitches off cooldown in one second time, that's why Anna stunning on to that urge for okay. shake up, but it's already too late. Gosh, this Timber pick has been doing so much work for his team, like, such a great last pick here for AF. And right now, look at this net worth of 10 minutes, almost 5,000 net worth. This is just proving to be such a good last pick here for AF. And there's no way to find it. Because the Batrider never got a good start, because the AM was shut yep. down, like, no tell is not in any kind of position where it's like even considering getting like Vanguard to fight. Nah. I, it's, you, you're already so far behind. Van I, I'm really not a fan of the, the Vanguard into Battle Fury build. But it's like, is, is he forced to fight or can he find nah, space to farm? Because what's be, the point of a battle if he can't, if he can't I don't think even if he goes for that build, he, they can fight them their way back into the game. I think the only way OG gets themselves back into the game is by him getting farm and just spit pushing. Oh, nice major. Uh, spirit, as Luz and Beam, the shark comes just a little bit too far away. Uh, this timber is gonna be a huge problem for OG. He almost has his bloodstone at what 11. He's gonna get it like what, maybe minute 12 or 13. It's extremely early for a timber. It's observable and scattered out as Falls maneuvering, so they know Spartan's coming over for it. They drop the sentry, they know S Falls on the hill, especially when he's sticking napalms on it makes it a little bit too obvious. But with that board, they also see Jirax. Three Radiant's stacks. top tower is under attack. Flame break too. Just trying Decent to uh, chip. do some. Yeah, just trying to do some damage. But S4 really doesn't want to die here. He is 500 gold shot. He for, wants. He yeah, wants the radiant dagger. jungle again. Yeah. He needs that dagger. They need him to get. AM needs him to get a dagger to make space. Yeah. For Ana, he does not have anything right now. Um, it's gonna be a difficult game to build the DK when you're behind as DK. It's really difficult for you, like especially with the AM, you, you want to be able to make space, so I'm not sure what does the DK go this game. Radiance he needs like a, definitely needs like a dagger or shadow blade to, you know, try and gank and... But he still needs the armor to survive the fights. Yeah, you, you want to have the armor, but when you're this far behind, I'm not sure if you still want to go back for the armor. 
because then it would eventually delay your dagger or shadow blade by a huge margin and am is going to take the, the whole map so is, is it the question then like do you think you just got enough initiation relying on grx and s4 yep and you put uh you mean when you go for the armlet first yeah when you go for armlet first it's not, so, on, so like it's not only that, it's like the big picture, right? So if you look at their big picture, AM is going to farm everything, and DK is more like the the fighting role to make space. I mean, if you do the armlet build, like you say, you're going to rely on the Earth Spirit and the Bad Idol to initiate. I mean, it's not like it's 100% bad, but in most cases, you want to have one of the Blink one of the blink or Shadow Blade to help your team. Oh, this could be a time to try and fight. Jirax is going to get scouted out, but maybe next oh. time they draft back, but Jirax? Good. Rolling boulders away. Uh, the blink there is on S4. This is why I'm like, I'm interested to see if Again. they can fight this fly. has got Begins. smoke, so he's going to actually catch all three of them on the back line away Earth, from Earth the observer has board. his ulti as well. This is a good time for them to take a fight. Oh, yeah, with that magnetize. They can keep the silence over on Madara, maybe then, like, no Dyer's big eclipse, maybe next time. So just forward. Mm. Remember, this will be a four on five fight. The Rage will not want to come and fight this S4. Maybe next time, just walks up. Yep, maybe next time, just stays to S4, you'll find an initiation. But S4, he's still got that blink dagger. It's off cooldown, finds his target, comes in towards the Rubik, only wants to keep the top charge. Johnny B drags him into the middle of the firefly. Back makes it a little bit more difficult, and Spartan actually surviving. They pick him up, and S4's gonna go down. Of course, it's Zug, who's the man that had the blood on the blade. And is also retreating back. I know this tier 2 tower is very difficult to hold. Jirak still hopes to do something. The Rubik. Oh, okay. They're actually turning the Lunar against him. The damage out from Fly is doing serious work. He's going to get a double oh, kill geez. thanks to the copies of Madara. And as in deep, the Eclipse will go off. And that is a very evaporated DK. And Jirak may find himself in the same place. Turns on the Magnetize. Hopes there's enough damage. The Earthshaker will tick out from this. So Thug wants to go for more. With Madara and Thug going in deep. Now AM. No Teleport will come into the fight. And with the Mana Void, oh, he's a level 1. That ain't going to do Jack. Madara hoping to sell. Up. Now starts the TP. Is there a stun? There's a blade break, but that's not a stun. The tick out. Madara will survive thanks to the fountain regeneration. Oh my god, but that was still that was still alright for OG. They traded for what four to three kills. It was still decent and AM wasn't there. So I think all in all they bought AM a lot of time to farm. He is almost on his way to his battle free, so that's good news for OG. And he cut up a lot in net worth, now sitting at 5.6k to 6k team, of you know? Luna. That was really all thanks to his team. And at the end of the day, OG are going to be really happy despite... Uh, they still lost the fight, but AM got a lot of space to farm that, so that would be the ultimate. I'm wondering if AF will give a little bit more respect next time to the Shadow Demon. Yeah, the disruption actually killed the disruption on the Luna because he has three points in... Uh, he had three points in the disrupt this early. Oh, S4. Dirac, I don't know if you can really help with this one. He'll get the silence on the Timbersaur at least. Fine right now, and uh, Timber just got his Bloodstone. Like, OG are just going to be thanking their lucky stars. That fight happened before Timber collected his Bloodstone, then he would have gotten a lot of charges from that. Very true. Caught out inside the river. Jirax rolls forward, maybe next time. Locked in with the SD Illusion, but in comes the support. Madara the front lines, maybe next time we'll TP himself away to safety. Jirax, he won't be so lucky to lose some beam from Madara, execute oh, some Timber. He wants to chase, but AM is all the way towards the top lane right now. And he wants to go because Spartan's got the initiation. Like he stole the anti-mage blink, so with that... You've always got Spartan to set up. Yeah, talking about setup, when you're playing a Timbersaw game, I think one of the best heroes to pair with Timbersaw is Oshaker. Because you, you want to have a lot of uh, AoE stuns. Uh, that's what something I don't think many many people Dyer's talk about when they, they talk about a Timber game. Like okay, Timber tries Dyer's when you have a lot of disable for him. So he can just land his spells, his like setup, you want setup for Timber. And Earthshaker is perfect for that. With the game ready to go again. And I went back for the same build with a hood of defiance on him. The hood? Oh yeah. I mean there's a lot of spell damage, but uh I don't know, but it's still a decent item. I mean it's not like it's a bad choice here. Smoke's running out of time, Gurex comes in, looks with the silence on Thug. I mean, it's very difficult for them to get a good opening here. Like AF are in a really, really good spot. Comes S4. Firefly up, they wait for him. You've already got the Earthshaker in the position, he's gonna get lassoed out. As Jirax, the kick will beat him, and he echoes land. There goes two of them, and it will take up a lot of fact. He takes up almost all of the Eclipse thanks to that hood of his. So two supports down for OG, maybe next time still in pretty deep. 
S4 needs to get back out of this with the eye. Oh, Ash the chakra. It reached him. With the earn charge sticking down, uh, getting range with the blink forward into the fade off. Then the follow up telekeys just grab onto Anna. OG are losing too many. You do have, however, no tell inside the base of Ad Finnum. He's pushed all the way to the tier 3 tower. Blinks away, the second thug will arrive. And Thug is on the chase. The no tell. Short cooldown on Blink. Four points in it. He is well, well away. They're gonna need, like, boost. Travel on the team uh, soon to deal with this big push, but I can see OG doing uh, the right idea. Uh, during the drop I mentioned, it's all about the four one. The other four heroes are gonna work together to try and pressure, create some space for air. But uh, I mean, OG was like trying to. They weren't really gonna win that fight. Yeah, I think, but they were trying to just keep them busy and try to make time for the AM to farm. Unfortunately, they lost four heroes. I think when they lost the two supports, I was kind of feeling up. Oh, that's probably good enough. They bought enough time, they should have backed off, but they wanted to try and do more. Yeah. And as a result of that, they lost four heroes. Well, it kind of forced AF into that rough decision, right? Like, it's the, it's the game of trade then. At the enemy just pressuring a tier three tower, you drop that, that down to half life, then you're creating more space for yourself going into the mid game because Adam's always worried about that top lane. Mm -hmm. One small fight, one thing where you may have to rush in execution. If you don't, then no tell takes your tier 3 tower. Thanks to Split Push. Yeah, but still, I have to comment on AF on playing this game. Like, they're, they are constantly pressuring the AM. They're constantly looking for fights, making sure that OG has no time to breathe. This is how you want to play against the AM. And right now, they're smoked up right after winning a fight. Yeah. Um, so what's yeah. going to do work for him? Yeah. They see Jirai just walking out. Spartan's got Dragon Tail available. Uh, the kick, perfect from Jirai. How does he even get that? With Elusive Beam, still with Rolling Boulder available. Makes a break for the tree lines back out. And now, okay, he'll accept his fate. That was excellent uh, spell usage once again by AF. Uh, the Live, the Rubik. Is this enough to go up? Like, the top players are pushing in far. Uh, Anna, I think, wants to give a little bit of momentum. Where's the bad rider? Yeah. They need bad rider to de push this with Firefly. Where's. Oh, he's like far away. Yeah. This is bad. He was busy in the mid. They try and use the SD, but SD lose the beam. Shark from Fly goes down. Oh, wait, he got the disruption off. It got it off on Madara. So if he can keep these illusions alive for just that little bit longer. Wait, hang on. No, that's not his. Why is that one attacking? Uh, it's dominated. It's gonna be dominated, right? I'm Dominate Illusions. Okay. Wait. Oh, it's gonna be Rubik. It's uh, Rubik. Okay, it's Rubik. It's Rubik okay, who stole gosh. disruption because I'm like, there's no way he's turned fast enough. Dude, oh I got fucking yeah, trick on that. I got so tilted. I was like, what, what's going on? I, I... <laughs> it was Rubik. One on one together, we found three that realized it was two. Um, that bottom rack belongs to them. S4 oh, looking for Rubik. some kind of exit kill if he can. Madara's on the way back out. He'll be the best target for him. To the blink last so Anna. Into that dragon form, the kick is nice from Jirai, turns on the magnetize as well. With the mech charge repair, a lot of the damage, maybe next time holds in DK position, trying to get his TP out. It won't happen, but Thugs still double kill, he missed the timber chain. So it falls the fight a little bit longer up against Anna. So Fly needs to actually buy some space. Disruption will do that as they go back inside the base. Dragon tail it up. There's no reason to fight, you've already lost your rank. The enemy does not want to come back. You don't want to lose Anna. The chain won't do his damage. Now this Timber is just out of control right now, like, it's so difficult for them to kill him. Like, they, when the AM is not online, they have no good solutions at dealing with the Timber. They have the Silence from Earth Spirit, but they don't have enough damage. Well, until you get the Mana Style on, on the enemy mage, she doesn't do anything. It's gonna be a while, I mean, another... Is say, it, it's minutes. not that bad, because he was farming up, like, the like this double, triple stack of Ancients. Of yep. AF. Hon honestly, despite losing that Rex because AM got so much out of uh, the other side of the map, it's still possible for OG to win this game. They need no tier to get to the phase where he has three items the Battle Fury, the Mantle, plus one item, mm. the Basher. Maybe PKB would also be a really good option here for him against those heroes. Here we go coming in for AF, Maybe so they're this... going to get the mana style of their own. Toby, this Rubik with disruption is just. They have to kill, <laughs> they have to kill this Rubik. This is too much. I, I, I don't even like how he uh, was able to steal that, like gosh, you, you disrupt, you poison straight away, but I know Fly was, shit, Fly was stunned. Shit happens, you know, sometimes <laughs> you make a mistake, you know. But right now this Rubik is a huge, huge problem, they have to kill him. <laughs> this disruption is just making the uh, siege so easy. They take, they take the combination which has been destroying so many games, the SD and the Lunar, and they just get out of the Rubik. And Madara, Radiant they removed the final out of tower at 22 minutes. 
and they're looking to attack the top lane. So I think it might be about time when no tail. Still short of the money, but you can't lose both lane lanes and still expect to win this game. No matter how big the enemy is gonna get. Gosh, look at the illusions doing what? <laughs> like nice timber source. No tail is like, guys, I need five more minutes. <laughs> yeah, just give me time. That rider, lasso, he's actually gonna kill off the Earthshaker. With the Firefly, the Sikki Name Farm, he actually had four stacks on him. So S4 gets a solo pick on the back lines. Oh, that was. That may create the space they need. That was very, very big play there by S4 getting. How did he stack him up so many times? I don't know. I don't know why the rest of AF didn't go back and help him. I guess he was just out of position. He was in a. Well, S S4 started. Like, S4 started up in this tree line. So as AF was pushing in. They didn't say. I'm always wondering if it's worthwhile for AF stuff putting down. That was really, and really, really good play by S4 there. That bought them and what two minutes to farm? One to two minutes to farm. No tail is like, oh, thanks, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get you dinner. If you buy he's it. just looking at the stack. Oh, maybe a kill. That's easier. Starts with the mana void and getting the kill on Spark in the back. And with three oh. ball, the kick flies forward. The flame break would have done the work, but instead he's got up all the mana from Skylark. The that Mega Pipe was already committed. So you lose your Earth Spirit now. No tail has to bail. Doug is on the here front line. Oh, it's four stuck. He's got four stuck. He's got four stuff, but no TP scroll. Flies too far out, starts to disrupt with the Lotus Orb on the Timber Saw. He knows there's no point disrupting up the Timber. Okay. S4 gonna wait again uh, for that perfect pick. TP out for the Darks here, no, he's going back to the mid lane. Okay, going for Roshan first, so. Let's see what does AM have right now. Your Manta is done. My Manta is done. Still not quite enough yet. He's gonna need to rush a BKB, I think. Is, is BKB the item of choice? Yeah, but that, he's gonna be forced to defend soon. Like, he needs, uh, if you get a Basher, you can't really fight as well. Into the Earthshaker Fissure, the Timber Saw, the Luna Ultimate. There's just way too many things that can disrupt and kill you in the fight. So, if they are expecting the push to come, he's gonna need a BKB. Like, if the push comes in the next one or two minutes, I expect Adfinan to just move, continue the siege after the Roshan. AM is gonna need a BKB, but. He's actually, yeah, he's too far. I don't think he will have enough time to complete the BKB. That's, the, that's the only item that's gonna allow the AM to fight. OG know what's going on. They scanned AF out, so out the front of the pit, but now AF. There's nothing they can they do, though. They smirk on two. Yeah, they're just, they're just taking the time to farm. There's actually giving space for Ana. Like, he's got his armor, he's got his sort of defiance, another 1500 gold. So buybacks are becoming available as well for OG. I mean, DK is really not that uh, big of an impact compared to the last game anymore. He's just there, uh, you know, trying to buy time for the AM to get to that stage where the AM is going to be able to carry the game. Like, OG is just... He's here it is again. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. He, they, they're, already, they're already wondering. They pinged the TP back. Paris, they, need, they really need a boost of travel on the Timber. Timber has no boost of travel. They need Timber to sit in the AM's lane, push the lane out, fight him, and TP BTs over to his team. It's like Timber's just looking more for the items which end the game, like having she Got up or I don't know if it's yeah, but still, if the creeps are not pushed in the enemy's lane, you're not ending the game. Yep. This is uh, this is actually buying so much time for Noti. I said he has no time to get his BKB, but uh, you know, at this rate, he might be able to complete his BKB before the next push hits the high ground. And gem being purchased up by S4, a really really important item when you are playing a game like this, where you're just trying to stall. Buy time, get pickoffs. So having the vision control is really, really crucial for your team. And I feel don't really have like a natural vision gainer, like the Firefly that comes through a Bat Rider or like something like a Beastmaster Hawk would be nice for them. But in this game, it's they, like they have night vision for Luna when it turns night. That is true. <laughs> that's, that's still pretty decent against a Bat Rider. Bat Rider's night vision is really bad. So the BKB on the Luna completed. Uh, Dirt Tile is making this hard. <laughs> he just keeps creep, creep skipping them out. Now he jumps to the mid and he'll push that one back out. Okay. Look at his, his CS is at 228. It's a pretty good amount for a game like this. Now honestly. considering his start. Okay, the push commences to be... They have one creep wave to work with. The BKB is still only just arriving on the courier. And Anna is actually making this a little bit easier by standing where he is. <laughs> okay, yeah, thug, the damage. Um, what? Put it on Skylock, back to back in again. Anna can't toggle through that. His buyback is available. The Radiant Courier will die during the run, but it's still delivered the BKB over to Madara. And with that tier 3 tower down, the Glades are doing their work, and Anna 
Well, how do you stop this? Like right now, we're just attacking one of the illusions and losing so much life. Thanks to all the uh, the the, beat, the uh, glaze bouncing around, Lou dragged in deep towards the tier four towers, flying able to get that disruption off. So they'll actually turn Madara against Madara. Oh, the when the bridge fire isn't damaged enough, they burn through the Aegis of the Immortal. Is the AM ready to fight? No tell with that level 3 mana point. He wants to jump in, but Dara lets the ulti go. Anna, this could be a dieback if that force off Mesbord didn't give him the space. So no tell. Into the front lines, they need kills, they've lost their racks. But the mana burn needs to also happen. And it's not AF. S5, ready to jump back out and get the jump in from Spartan. He finds S4, no force off, no blink, the timber chain won't connect, but the Rubik still finds the kill. Putting that Fate Vault to work. Ah, no tier is still not ready to fight. Dyer's middle tower is he desperately attack. needs that BKB and AF are just not gonna give him time to get that. They are gonna get the final set of racks right now, pressuring. BKB is down, he picks down all the back. Oh, the back. The echo! Oh, OG, the kick flies through from your axe. The damage may be done, that might be a buyback from Nozal if they want to hold on to it. Yep, there it is. They actually have to buy back on the anti mage. All their monies out the window. They need to find the kill, the mana void used, but it's so late now. The Madara, oh, the damage was really negligible. Nozal blinks out, low on life, and nothing of value is lost here for AF. They just keep going, and that may actually be the game. With the blink imp, they find initiation over on the Shadow Demon. So they can't even turn the looter against him. No tell, blinks forward. Almost trying to be a distraction. They find the looter, drag him in, blink out. Madara, BKB, so they're sort of him. He's low on life. No Aegis Immortal this time around. The tier 4 towers will do the work for OG. So the looter is dead at the moment. Any no. mage caught with the stuns. No buyback. Luna could use hers and just come straight back to front lines. Darkseid's in a little bit of trouble thanks to the Magnetize, the kick flies through for Skylark, hugs the cliffside, he'll, he'll live with the blink away to safety and yeah, there's your buyback from the Luna. They understand this situation, they understand one more kill will do it for them. And who's it gonna be? They kick back dog into the tower with Jirax, but S4. Ducking and weaving, hoping for a good opportunity. The Lucent Beam's gonna make life more difficult. As Madara, Wayne Break pushes them in, right on top of Hannah, and then the back combining it with the two man fissure. They can still commit buybacks. Hannah's doing everything he can to hold this tier 3 tower. And everything he can is worth a lot. The Shadow Demon actually just ended the wicked sick streak for the Darks here. So that's good money for him. They can find these kills, the money will start rolling in. No spirit now, he'll buy back. They're committing everything they've got. There's not a single buyback left. Everyone has used it. Overcome Slug, fighting against Anna. Jirax to the front line, so Earth Spirit, uh, Earth Shaker will now die. Hands of the DK. Oh, this Timber is still, you know, getting kills behind enemy lines. He's too powerful. <laughs> he really is just too powerful. The lasso is there for S4. Pushes down. Jirax now hoping. They want Madara. If they can get Madara, it's the dream come true. Blink off cooldown now. Blink forward, but then lose the beam. Sun moved over. So Bow Rider is down. Jirax gets a double stun. But Spartan will arrive. The double kill for Look at his blood Mercy, please. Mercy. Look at his bloodstone. 33 bloodstone charges. The dream. It's a nightmare for OG, but yeah, dream for Ad Venom. So they're just gonna march down the last set of racks, and it's not much OG, OG could have, could do anymore. They've already Dyer's used up all the in their tanks, all the buybacks down. AM still hasn't got his BKB. Dyer's middle tower has they really? I, 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 if OG Dyer's are holding this, like they're still attack. looking to fight. They have to have some level of real hope to do this. The mana style, no tail, pick up telekinesis, pick up, drag down, killed off. That's, that's 70 that's seconds that's without no tail. The DK's on the front line, and then the back echo slam. Okay, take hope, put it in a bag, and then light it on fire. Hey, oh uh, it's game number one, uh, game number two, giving us our third deciding matchup. In this spirit that has been this group, everything goes to three. What our last pick? Timbers or? Uh, AF chose the lane, they chose the pressure.